you made me ashamed. And then, and now, has to tell You people, on this surface, you let them get away with too much shit. And that's why they can continue to do it. Because at the end of the day, you allow for it to be done. Have you heard of do? D-E-W. It stands for Direct Energy Weapon. And let me tell you something. The United States, Great Britain, Israel, Pakistan, India, China, Russia, all of these countries, and maybe even Iran, they use direct energy weapons on their citizens. And we've allowed that as people. Now, you're hearing direct energy weapon. And it sounds like something out of science fiction. Because you don't understand what it is. So let me explain to you what it is. Who developed it? And who they tested it on first. And now who they're using it on more broadly speaking. So. Every electronic device. Has a certain amount. Of radiation. That it emits. They call it RF. For radio frequency. Now. This radio frequency, it can be emitted from as far away as 500 to 1,000 yards from where you are. So they can hit you with a direct energy weapon and not be anywhere near you, 10 football fields away from you, and they can hit you with a direct energy weapon. And this is going to be bad on everybody because nobody's going to get spared. But you have to know this as people because you shouldn't have allowed this to occur. And all of us have to stand up and tell them to stop doing this right now. Have you heard of Havana Syndrome? It was first detected in Havana, Cuba. That's why they call it Havana Syndrome. American diplomats started experiencing migraine headaches, ringing in their ear, nosebleeds, all kind of brain issues, and well, America immediately blamed Russia. They pointed the finger and said, Russia is the one doing it. Russia denied it. But just because you deny something, doesn't mean that you're not doing it. And America said it wasn't them. But just because you say it's not you, doesn't mean that you're not doing it. Now, these diplomats were working on something very noble. They were working on bringing peace between America, Cuba, and Russia. And there's a lot of people in the military industrial complex all over the planet who don't want peace. They want bloodshed and war. Because they get off on that. They make a lot of money on it. 
they eat off of your death. They're like vultures. But all of these nations, when they were developing these technologies, they told you as citizens in these countries that they were purposefully developing these technologies for you to communicate and for you to have ease in your life. They didn't tell you that the technologies they were giving you, they would turn around and use to torture you. Because of course you would have never went along with that scheme, that plot. Now, I know the first question you're going to ask is, where did this technology come from? It's very ancient. It's not new. The individuals who use it, they're new and they're stupid. The technology, all of it, most of it, everything you see, it came from Kemet, ancient Kemet technology, okay? They had all of that, the Mayans, the Incas, they had all of it, and much, much more than what you have. They never used it against their own people. It was developed as a safeguard, as a way to protect and enhance the society. And these fuckers told you they were going to do the same thing. And you went along with it. You said, okay, that sounds good. A microwave to instantly make your meals and prepare your meals. They can use your microwave in your home and turn it into a weapon where it emits radio frequency waves to torture you. They can use your cell phone to emit radio frequency waves to torture you. And they've done it. All nations that have these capabilities have turned on their own citizens and pointed the fingers at other countries so you don't realize or you're not aware that they've used it on their own citizens. They said they developed it for national security purposes to protect their citizenry. But if you've used it on your own citizens, then you didn't develop it for national security reasons. You're fucking liars. It didn't start in Havana, Cuba. That's what they want to tell you so they can get away with continuing what I consider to be a human rights violation. It actually started in this country, in Ferguson, Missouri. The first time it was publicly rolled out and used on a crowd was on Black Lives Matter activists protesting in Ferguson against the death and lynching of Mike Brown. You remember the Humvee that the police officers were in, the bulletproof Humvee with the huge satellite atop. You said, wait a minute, that looks weird, doesn't it? That was a direct energy weapon. It's a sound frequency weapon. Now they said that they used it to disperse the crowd. You're telling me you can't disperse a crowd without a direct energy weapon? They violated your human rights. That police department in Ferguson, Missouri, all those officers who used it, 
and every police department who've used it since. You've committed war crimes against your fellow citizens. Tonight I'm calling on Ben Crump, the attorney, and every leading African American institution in the United States of America to immediately go to the United Nations and declare that the United States of America committed a human rights atrocity against the African American community by using direct energy weapons. This should be done immediately. The NAACP should file a brief with the United Nations Human Rights Council. All the individuals that were responsible for doing so should be tried by the International Criminal Court. You have no right, no justification to use direct energy weapons against your own citizens. That's a war crime. They got no approval from any court to do that. They violated all your human rights. And you notice mysteriously, all of the activists, for the most part, most of those activists who protested in Ferguson, they all mysteriously died. That's because they used direct energy weapons against them. And because they didn't want to do any kind of litigation They committed, well, a job. They had to cover their tracks. They thought they would never be found. Every African American community, institution, should immediately file human rights violations with the International Criminal Court against every police department that used a direct energy weapon against the citizens of this nation. And there were many. And there were many officers. And all of their names will be leaked. Mm -hmm. Lockheed Martin and Raytheon developed these technologies. Both were military institutions that the United States government gives billions and billions of dollars to. Now these weapons were developed with the help of scientists, doctors, university professors, technologists, Ian Musk, Harvard University, MIT, Yale, Princeton, All of these individuals assisted in developing these weapons. All of them are, should be held liable for what they did to human beings on this planet. America used energy weapons, direct energy weapons, against the African-American community first, long before diplomats were affected. And now, to cover and mask what they did, they have to tell you diplomats were affected. And now we're, we're passing legislation. And we're forming commissions. Are the individuals that developed these weapons going to be held accountable? No, they have no plans to hold them accountable. They're still paying them billions of dollars. Majority Taylor Greene, you know, the Nazi anti-Semitic congresswoman. She's invested thousands of dollars in Lockheed Martin. These people are guilty of all crimes and all transgressions against humanity. And they're going to be held accountable. Mark my words, you have no mistaking that. They will all be held accountable. 
for crimes against humanity. You listen to me, and you listen to me good. America, Israel, India, Pakistan, China, Russia, Iran. You turn those damn weapons off, and you turn them off all over the planet. You have 72 hours to turn them all off and never use them again. I'll repeat myself one last time. America, Israel, India, China, Russia, Germany, Iran, Pakistan, you turn those damn direct energy weapons off. You have 72 hours. If they remain on past 72 hours, if anyone is using it past 72 hours, you have my word. You wish you had to turn them off. Some things we should all be outraged about. You know, if you let people get away with using direct energy weapons just because you're racist and you don't care about minorities or black people, eventually they're going to do it to some other group. Maybe you don't give a fuck about diplomats. But then they're going to do it to you. And you know how that works. When you don't stand up for the little person, and then the next little person, eventually there's nobody left but you. We should all tell them to turn those things off. They told us they weren't developing it for that purpose. We gave no consent for them to develop these technologies for that purpose. If they're not off in 72 hours, let me tell you what you should all do. Get rid of every cell phone you have. Get rid of all your microwaves and go off the grid. That means no metaverse. That means no Facebook, no Instagram, no YouTube, but that's okay. You said you were building things so we could communicate. Not so you could torture and repress us because you don't agree. If they do it to black people and diplomats, they'll do it to you. Don't wait till they do it to you. Because by then it's too late. Stop them now. They have 72 hours. If they haven't all been turned off in every country, and there's a signed agreement by every nation on this planet that you will never use those things for that purpose again, then all of us should get rid of our cell phones and get rid of our microwaves. And we go back to being off the grid. So that means Apple, you lose all your money. Raytheon, you lose all your money. Lockheed Martin, you lose all your money. IBM, you lose all your money. Dell, you lose all your money. Facebook, you lose all your money. Starlink, you lose all your money. Because the only thing these sick, depraved, savage men care about is money. So you gotta hit them where it hurts in their wallet. I'll join with anybody in filing a war crime article of human rights violation 
on every last one of these individuals. Every last one of them. You have to go. If you don't leave, we're going to make you leave. And believe you me, I have ways to make you leave. I'll do whatever it takes to stop every last one of you before I transition. I'll make it my personal priority to stop you. You turn that fucking shit off and you never turn it on again. They were never supposed to use this shit like that. They know you as citizens, as people, as humans, as creatures on this planet would have never consented to this debauchery. But they've done it anyway. And now they've got to pay. And they're going to all pay. If it remains on past 72 hours, just know that you, your children, your children's children, your children's children's children, they'll be persecuted the same way we were. You turn it off. You sign agreements, all of you, in a room. I don't care what it takes to get you all in a room. You can do a Zoom call. You can hold up the paper. In Russia, we sign, we're never using direct energy weapons. In Israel, we sign, we're never using direct energy weapons. In Iran, we sign, we're never using direct energy weapons. In America, we sign, we're never using direct energy weapons. In Great Britain, we sign, we're never using direct energy weapons. In Germany, we sign, we're never using direct energy weapons. In France, we sign, we're never using direct energy weapons. You sign and you show all of us that you sign. And then you turn that shit off. And you never use it again. I don't know who the hell these individuals think they are. That they can come to this place and do whatever the fuck pops into their mind. You're using technology that doesn't belong to you. That wasn't designed for that purpose. If all of us come after you in the beings for what you've done, you're doomed. I can easily gather 50,000 people here. You won't be safe. When they find out that you're using their cell phones and their microwaves to torture them, you won't be safe. So you turn it off. And you turn it off now. And you never turn it back on. And you sign the agreement saying that. And the individuals responsible for turning it on, they're held accountable for what they did. No matter what nation they come from. I don't care if they're Chinese, they're American, they're British. They're German, they're French, they're Iranian, they're Jewish, Israeli. I don't give a fuck. They're held responsible for torturing other human beings. Because they knew that that was against all human rights violations and ethics. You have 72 hours to turn that shit off, and I mean it.